So ever since I came to Korea, I've gotten a lot of messages from people asking what it's like to live in Korea and teach in Korea and advice on finding a job and all of those good things. So I figured I would make a video about it for anyone who may or may not be looking or interested or cares what I do with my life. First off, I just want to say that teaching English in Korea is the best thing ever. I have absolutely no regrets about this year. I completely love Korea. I completely love the kids. The job is easy, sometimes stressful because you're working for Koreans and there's the cultural thing, but it is amazing and if you're thinking about it, you should come do it. The only real advice I have to give in finding the actual job is do not work anywhere that's going to make you work on Saturdays. I have some friends that have to work on Saturdays and they never get to come on our weekend trips. I mean, working in Korea is awesome, but half of the reason I'm here is to get to go on adventures and actually see Korea. And if you have to work on Saturdays, that's completely lame and you don't get to go anywhere and see anything. And also I know it's a really hard thing to be able to tell from just like the phone interview you have with the director of the school, but so much of whether or not you're happy while you're in Korea depends on the Koreans that you're working with. So so if at all possible, find a way to get awesome, fun Korean co-workers because Koreans are wonderful and if you're working with fun people, the job will be freaking amazing. The biggest piece of advice I have for why you are here is totally just embrace Korea. If you like it, you're gonna have fun. I have friends that the entire time they've been here, they talked about how great their hometown was or how much they miss American food or how they can't wait to go home or how they wish they were at home or what they would be doing if they were at home. Don't do that. You're on the other side of the world. You're away from home. Take that, use it to your advantage, be whoever you feel like being because nobody here knows who you are. Like Korea. The food is awesome. It might be a little bit weird when you get here, but it's absolutely fantastic. The people, for the most part, are really fun. There will be awkward situations, but just embrace them. I mean, where else are you going to be sitting in a park wearing a t-shirt that is in no way revealing and have an old Korean man walk up to you, tell you you have big boobs and ask for your phone number. Actually I'm just assuming that's what he asked because he made the big boob sign and he held out his phone, but this was all in Korean so I actually have no idea what he was actually saying which makes it even more fun and awkward. Another thing you should embrace is the weirdness of the kids that you teach. Korean kids are amazingly fun and amazingly bizarre and amazingly weird and if you try and control them all the time like your Korean teachers want you to, then they're just not gonna like you and you're not gonna have fun because work's gonna be boring. But if you find ways to let them have fun and let them tell you these ridiculous things in class that go on in their heads, like, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah! Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm happy. Happy? Why? What is good <laughs> Korean teachers end up thinking of the worst are the ones that I end up loving because they entertain me the most. <sighs> they are hilarious. But while some kids are hilarious fun, some are really just actual complete jerk faces, you should try and learn some of the Korean bad words so you know when they say them at you. The kids don't expect you to know any Korean at all, so if they say a bad word and you turn around and tell them not to, they will be so shocked that they will like never say anything bad about you again because they'll assume you know way more than you actually do. While Korea is wonderful and fantastic, there are some things that it is seriously lacking in, which you should try and bring as much with you as you can. Like big fluffy towels, stick deodorant, clothes that fit, cheese. I really miss cheese. I don't really know if you can bring that with you, but I just miss cheese. And bring a lot of pictures of your family. That's one thing that I forgot to bring was stuff for my walls and pictures of my family because it's all like on my computer, but I want to be able to see it. And so I had my friends and my family send me some pictures of them. So that was good. I hope you do it and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a fantastic time and make it a grand adventure. If you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments or send me a message. I would be more than happy to answer them. Yeah, that's about all I got. My name is Tina. How old are you? I'm 12. Do you like America? Yes. That's good. Do you like Korea? No. <laughs> Why? Why? Because uh, not fun. That's interesting. Uh, my name is Eva. Uh, Eva. I, <laughs> I am 6th grade and I like Korea and America too. What is the best about Korea? Korea, I think my home. <laughs> my home is very good. Very